Good morning. I am splotchy. I just got done scrubbing my face, so I was a little... Um, just got showered and dressed. It's 8 o'clock on Thursday morning. Uh, my friend's coming. Dad's already gone. Uh, he went up to the shop to go with Ron up to... You know, they're going like three hours away? I don't know. They're going to pick up... Ron bought a grasshopper, so they're hauling a trailer... Go get, it's like a lawnmower thing. Um, they're hauling a trailer up there to go get it. And uh, so then me and my friend are going to go to Bailey's Discount Center today and do a little shopping. What? You just had a whole crap ton of treats. Like, we're talking. Cr okay, bye bye. All I have left to do is put on the BRA. I got to go um, do one thing online for work. And I'm out of here in about a half an hour. Well, Need to go to the bank, make a deposit. Drive through opens at 8.30. And drop some things in the mail. And I'm going to get gas down the road a little ways. So, yeah. Uh-oh, she's coming back. Hey, kitty. Kitty. Okay, bye-bye. She's off. Probably going to get a drink of water. i got to check her water dish and see how much is in there. Like I said, I've only been keeping it very low. Because of this splash, splash, splash. But, okay. Got to go finish getting ready. Rock and roll, hooch coop. We're at our, well, technically, several stops and we just went to the bank and we went to drop stuff in the box and we just got gas. Now we're at a kitchen store that my friend wanted to stop in and get these mixing bowls, I guess. So, because uh, there's a big giant spa uh, spatula of Turner and a whisk out here. Okay, I'll show you. Hang on. See, giant whisk, there's a giant knife on the thing, and there's a giant turner. <laughs> this is a kitchen shop. But okay, I'll be back later. We have a giant gumball machine, but we're getting ready to go in. There's the entrance into all of the stuff. Oh, my friend's getting a cup of coffee. So, waiting. It smells good. Coffee smells good. I was sitting out there waiting for my friend who got coffee, and looking I'm like is that my cousin Vicky and I'm like no and then she comes up like it is you <laughs> so I got the I took a selfie of us because I haven't had a picture of us together in a while so I said oh. she's and then her husband came over and he's like is your dad here I'm like no not he's off he's off today on an adventure going elsewhere so that's so funny but now I'm just let me turn you around I'm cruising Cruising around in my automobile. Oh, they have long mirrors. $14.99. What are these? I don't know. Mattress toppers. I have those. Shirts. This is usually kitchenware. So, yeah. Cups. Uh, casserole cubbies. That is a big muffin pan. <laughs> there was some giant muffin pan. And they're over here too. But alright, I'm gonna look around. I'll be back. They've gotten a whole bunch of fabric in. They've never had this before. Um, each roll is $4.99. All different things. And they have my hand sanitizer I'm going to grab later, but, oh, flip-flops. Lots of flip-flops. And rain booties. It's funny how you just never know what they're going to have here. <laughs> All right, rolling. Sorry I did not film very much in the Baileys. I'm looking at it though, it's right across the street. We stopped at another place called Burt's Bargain Bin. Close out, return, overstock, antiques, furniture, clothing, electronics, tools, new and used. Uh, they have a bunch of mums. You see the mums? So yeah, we stopped here. I'm going to go home a totally different way, a way I've never really gone before, so it'll be an adventure. An adventure! I spent about 80 bucks today. I bought like 8 big gallons of hand sanitizer for the business. I bought candy for the Halloween party. Um, a couple canned goods. I'll show you when I get home. So yeah.
it was pleasant. It's like 58 degrees out, so it's not really cold, but it's cool, but not really cold. Um, and it's not raining, even though it's overcast. It did sprinkle on us like once on the way here, but it's nice out now. I will take it. But all right, we're gonna roll out here in a minute. I'm home! I put half my stuff away, I forgot to film. But I'll turn you around and show you what I still have out. I just talked to Dad. They're on their way back. They're north of Lansing, so they're about two and a half hours from home, something like that. But okay, I'll turn you around. Hang on. I got a thing of everything bagels at, bagels at the Pepperidge Farm Discount Center in Michigan City. I got some, Dad, some pepper beef jerky. Candy for the Halloween party. I got me some apple rings. This is just some of them. I got these to see if I, I can nip Kitty's nails. White Castle. Uh, more Pepperidge Farm. Uh, discount store. Over here. The pies. Dad bought that yesterday. I got some dog treats because Dad asked. And I got some ketchup to take to the Legion. Uh, I had, wait a minute, wait a minute. Back again. I got a couple cans of pineapple tidbits, one little can of uh, spaghetti sauce, some bugles, some caramel bugles. Um, <laughs> the apple rings, it was a four and a half pound bag. So I have a lot of apple rings. I cannot complain of not having anything gummy for a while because I have a lot of them. Um, but all right, now I'm going to have something to eat because it's 3.35 and I have not ate anything today because you all know I'm afraid. But now that I'm home near my bathroom, good to go. Bye. Look at my wood, old baby. This is a fish sandwich. I got me one little chicken one and two cheeseburgers. I got dad some jalapeno. It's jalapeno cheese with pickle. I got him five of those in a bag. I still got a couple cheeseburgers left for like tomorrow or later on tonight or whatever. So now I'm going to get my White Castle on. Let me tell you, I can tell my stamina of going out for a day and is going out. It's not like it used to be. I'm just tired. I get to take a nap. I'm going to lay down. What time is it? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Dad is not home. I just heard the school bus stop and let some kids off. Is she back here? I don't know where the heck she went. She was just here eating treats, but now she's gone. You know, she hates her crunchy cat food, but she loves her crunchy treats. I don't understand her. Don't get it. But Stacy's going to lay down now. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello. It's Friday evening. Um, I've had a blind afternoon, but I got a lot done this morning and early afternoon, and then it just kind of went bleh. Uh... But, I'm getting ready to cook myself some dinner. Dad is gone. Playing cards. He, he was gone all day yesterday. He got home last evening. And, uh, I tried to call him because I was going to have him get some cream cheese at the grocery store. And he didn't answer. Called him again and didn't answer. He comes home. I'm like, why didn't you answer your phone? He goes, I have it and I have it on. So I call it and it rang. I'm like, he goes, oh. I was probably inside getting, he stopped at a restaurant in Berrien Springs and got jerk chicken, a jerk chicken dinner. Because he just loves that stuff. And he, he has a bad habit of not taking his phone in with him anywhere. He just leaves it in the car. I have tried to break this habit. It has not, it has not happened. But uh, now I'm going to cook beef and mushroom risotto. Thank goodness the risotto is already pre-cooked. It just gets heated up in the dish. But I will turn you around and show you. Show you. Hang on. All right. Beef and mushroom risotto. We have beef. I got to cut up. Onions, which I got to cut up. Um, beef flavored concentrate, butter, garlic, salt, Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, sour cream, mushrooms, and risotto. This meal says it takes 15 minutes because the main time is... Um, cooking the beef and mushrooms. It really take, it takes you a little longer because you're gonna have to cut stuff up too. So we'll see, I'll time myself. But okay, I'm off. Okay, I'm already at the 15 minute mark. This might take another 10 more minutes. My beef is almost cooked. My beef, mushrooms, and onion 
is almost cooked and then I gotta put in the demi-glaze in the rice and some water and let that cook down and then take it off the burner and add in the cream cheese and the butter and the sour cream and the garlic salt. But when it's done I will show it to ya. Right now I'm just waiting for the stuff to cook. Uh, that's all. Well, I'm just having a little tiny bit for dinner because my stomach's a little wonky and I just don't want to overdo it. So the rest is going to go in the fridge as leftovers. Now I got to go wash my pan because that's too hot to eat right now. It is very, very steamy. I had made some homemade dill dip, not yesterday, the day before. So I'm going to have some raw cauliflower and dill dip too. So this is my dinner. We're going to go in there and try this. I still don't know what it tastes like, but we'll find out soon. To the living room. We have made it to the recliner. I haven't even turned on the TV yet. But let's taste this. I'm going to try to taste it when I got to switch. My right hand's like, no, you're left-handed and your left hand must do it. <laughs> okay. There. Okay. There's rice, beef, mushroom. Mm. Yeah, I like that. It's almost like, um... Stroganoff y, but with rice. Good. My drink of choice this evening? Water! I've been drinking a lot of water lately. So, now I'm gonna relax, watch some stuff. I have chipmunked my food in my cheeks. <laughs> Off we go. Man, oh man. I didn't eat very much, but the col I did eat the cauliflower, but it came back, um, it came back. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. So all the rest of that raw cauliflower is dad's because I just had a very non-pleasant experience. So now I'm just going to suck down some more water and just chill. My stomach's finally starting to settle. Boy, it was turning so bad. You know when your stomach starts turning and your mouth starts watering, you're like, oh no! Remember I went in my room so fast and grabbed one of my little hospital-y type puke bags. And uh, oh, if I went to the bathroom... So fun. What I don't understand is how come the last thing you ate isn't the thing that makes you sick? Because the last thing I ate isn't what I what came back. It was only the cauliflower. So strange how your body works. But all right, I know TMI. But now I'm gonna go back and watch. I'm getting ready to watch Bob Hart's Abishola. Whew. Bye.